we're about to go into disorders of cardiac rhythm all right so in going into these orders of cardiac rhythm, it's essential that we actually have an introduction so that you guys get to see the different types of what these orders of cardiac rhythm. You get to see the definition, you get to see the causes, the possible causes, you get to see the symptoms. Like if a patient has a disorder of cardiac rhythm, how would they present to the hospital? We get to see ways that we can be able to confirm that what these disorders of cardiac rhythm actually exist then get to see the possible treatments for disorders of cardiac rhythm. So for the definition, uh, we're saying that disorders of cardiac rhythm also known as what? Arrhythmias. Now look at this. In the word arrhythmia, you could see the word rhythm. What is rhythm? A regular stop. Playing and you're enjoying it. So there is AR added to the rhythm. So that means what? There is a disturbance in the rhythm. The rhythm is not going as planned, okay? So these are conditions where the heart is beating irregularly, not the regular way that you ex you enjoy it as a love up, love up, S1 and S2. This one, I mean, da -da 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 -da. okay? It's beating irregularly. So if it is beating irregularly, it will affect the ability of the heart to pump blood efficiently, all right? So types of... Uh, Cardiac reading disorders include bradycardia, as the heart is beating slow, you know what I'm saying? All right, slow heartbeat, there's tachycardia, that's fast heartbeat, there's atrial fibrillation, that's when you're having irregular heartbeat, there's ventricular fibrillation, which is life threatening, down to irregular heartbeats, but this one now is originating from the ventricles. Atrial fibrillation is irregular heartbeat originating from the atrial. All right, it's, you go have the supraventricular tachycardia. You will have the ventricular tachycardia. You will have the atrial ventricular block. That's where you have an AV block. All right. So looking at this now, um, you can see these are different ECG representations. And you can see that what? For the normal heartbeat, I want you guys to just note this complex. This is the what? QRS complex. For the normal heartbeat, you are having one, two, three, four, five, six. That's in relation to this graph. So we're having six QRS complex. When your heart is beating too much now, the QRS complex will increase. Apart from the QRS complex, everything will increase. But we usually talk about the QRS complex better, okay? So you're having one, two, three, four, five, six. We added three QRS complex. Do you understand? Then if your heart is beating slow, Instead of six QRS complex, you're just having only four QRS complex. Do you understand? So um, I can see the irregular heartbeats. You're having some QRS complex, they are bold. You're having some QRS complex, they are just slim. You're having some QRS complex, they are not bold. So it's irregular. All right? So causes, what could make a cardiac reading disorder? It could be because you're having some electrolyte imbalance. It could be because you're having some underlying heart disease, like coronary artery disease or heart failure. So when you listen to the heartbeat of a patient and they're having palpitations, is beating too much and all that, you must try to find out the cause, all right? It could be due to hypertension. So ask them if they're hypertensive. It could be due to thyroid disorder. So you could do all those what thyroid function tests, the T3s and the T4s. It could be due to sleep apnea. It could be due to some medications that they are currently taking. So ask them, are they on under on under what any medications? All right. Then it could be due to some genetic conditions. All right. So try to find out. Does anybody in your family also has this problem? All right. Symptoms. Of course, the patient will complain that their heart is beating and they are aware of it. Okay. So normally your heart should beat and you shouldn't be aware of it. Okay. That's the business going on that you have no business with, okay? But when you start having a business with your heart beating, your heart is beating and you know it, that's what it's called, palpitations, right? The patient will complain that they're having difficulties in breathing, shortness of breath, complain about weakness, complain about what? Dizziness, chest pains, lightheadedness, and fainting. Lightheadedness should be headaches, right? Diagnosis, you can confirm... Um, Cardiac reading disorders by doing ECG, that's electrocardiography, 
halter monitoring, event monitoring, echocardiogram, and stress test. Like, ask the patient to climb the stairs. So when they climb, like, two-story building, they come and they are breathless. You know that there's a problem, right? Treatment. You can give medications like what? Antiarrhythmics. Beta blockers. You could give cardioconversion. You could give what? Okay. Okay. Catheter ablation. These ones are surgery interventions now. Pacemaker implantation, surgery intervention. Then lifestyle modifications is basically what? Non pharmacological treatment. Because you tell this patient if they are eating food that is, has too much fat content, you should stop. I advise them to start eating omega 3 fatty acid. I advise them to start doing exercise. Then what are the other things? If they are smoking, they should stop. If they take alcohol, they should stop. Okay? So I think that's it for the introduction to disorders of cardiac rhythm.